What was your school life like? So my grandma was a school teacher and I was really lucky. I had her all throughout elementary school and then she retired when I went to middle school. So I was super lucky because everybody loved her and honestly like I was treated special because everybody loved my grandma. I never got to have her as like my teacher <laughs> because my mom wouldn't let me but um, she was always around. Okay, would you say that you were like a, a popular kid or, or just like just another person at the school or? Um, I had my phases. I was actually kind of an introvert, but I hung out with the cool kids most of, most of middle school. I was like, I don't know. I was always a little weird. I did my own weird little thing. I, I, I rode horses and stuff and nobody else in my friend group did. So that kind of put me out of the loop a little bit. I had, um, I guess you would call it like a pony club where like I had these four childhood best friends. We all had our horses and uh, they were my circle until I would say 18, 19. And then I started getting into the music scene and um, started branching off more towards like the Northeast Ohio music crowd. Um, and then I moved out here. I have friends that I've had for a very long time. And I'm sure you know about me macing my one friend. He's one of them. I don't talk to him anymore, unfortunately. But um, I've been friends with him since like 2015. Um, and then when I got into streaming, I kind of started to have like a friend group per se, I guess. Um, and that's kind of how I started to get networked into like, you know, I was with Chicken Andy for a little bit and then uh, now I'm with Incel. Um, so there's kind of that network thing where it's like, you don't have to be in the same place to know people and have a friend group. I kind of, uh, I guess I developed a digital friend group per se. Well, about what age were you when you first started, uh, when, when the internet became more important to you as far as uh, socializing and. Dude, I was like terrified of the internet. I actually have aliases for like almost all of my social media. I've never like, I had a couple of like Facebooks that I deleted maybe like seven years ago. Um, I hate Facebook, uh, and that may have been the last account with my real name on it, but I've just, I never wanted to get into the internet scene. I wasn't super like aware of it. I pretty much got into it because I got into politics and then I started streaming and that was like 2019. So I was actually pretty late to the game when it got to the internet situation compared to like, at least I feel like a lot of my own age group, you know? Right. So you're in high school. You graduate. What happens? What happens then? Do you go to college or do you get a job or? I have a degree um, in animal sciences and veterinary nursing. Um, I was going for equine veterinary, but I have a medical condition and I started getting really sick at the clinic. So it was pretty tough for like four or five years. I like had to rebuild myself financially. And um, I even went back to Ohio for seven months to go see a doctor. Um, so I got my degree. I came out here. I got my degree. I was going to go to school at um, Cal Poly Pomona, but like they're really specific about residents and I wasn't considered a resident at the time. So I was like, I was in Orange County for about a year and then I decided to come back to Arizona for school and I loved where I ended up living and I just, I just never left. <laughs> was that the first time you had been back to Arizona since you were one year old or were you visiting? No, no. So I'd come every spring and I would go to like North Scottsdale. I didn't really know Old Town, which is where I'm kind of at now. Um, but I've always pretty much been a Scottsdale girl. I don't really know much outside of that bubble, to be quite honest. 